Welcome back to another episode of Sophia the 3 ADSL. Today's episode is really short. It's just about removing the steering wheel um, and the instrument cluster in order to get some work done. And uh, you can watch another video that I'm gonna be making soon about getting into your instrument cluster and trying to do some of the repair work with some of the gauges. So that video is gonna be pretty exciting. I'll post that in a few weeks. But today's is just removing the steering wheel out of the way, removing the instrument cluster so we can get to uh, working back there. Um, big thanks to Jurgen for helping me out with this video. And then also this is what he brought along um, in order to pull them out. Honestly, if you want to look at, if you take a look at this, you can actually make this yourself. They are great. I did use it like a whole bunch of times on, and you'll see that on the next video because I was kept, I kept putting in the instrument cluster to test it out and pulling it back out. So they're definitely helpful. Uh, but all it is is just like a handle with a little, you know, a little hook at the end of it. So you can make this out of a paper clip if they're strong enough or just a metal that you could just, you know, make a little hook toward the end. Pretty simple. So you don't have to buy these. Um, you can make them. And I actually did see a couple of videos of people making them and they just use like a little cork toward the end that they attach this wire to. Um, you don't need these massive handles, but yeah, it was super helpful to have. Okay, let's uh, watch your again. Thanks for watching. That's it. That's it. All right. So next is... So... You just need a bolt to open Next it. is to open the bolt here. Like, so is there like a Allen or what is it? Yeah. Okay. I think it is a 19, if I'm not completely wrong. 19, all right, I'm gonna go grab something. Yeah. All right, so here's the Allen, it ended up being a 10. There you go. Let's give that a go. So you definitely wanna hold your steering wheel in place because you don't wanna break your steering lock. Got it? Mm -hmm. Nice. There you go. So before you pull it out, you just mark it, the string wheel? Um, yeah, but you want to take the bolt out first. Okay. Mark it then. Here we go. Okay, let's not lose that. So you definitely want to make a mark here to make sure you, you're going to get the steering wheel on on the right position then it's going to be centered again. Okay, let me get a marker. Hmm. Yeah, we got a mark on the inside. Yeah. Thank you. And now you just pull it off. Oh, easy. Pretty easy. Great. So next we're gonna go ahead and remove the instrument yeah. the cluster. So um, these Jurgen brought and picked them up on eBay. How much were these Jurgen? Uh, I think like 19 bucks. We both never used them before. So let's see how this goes. I think they're pretty particular where you're supposed to put them though. So I remember trench coat, I think sells them on his website. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Nice. Easy. Came out pretty easy. Yeah. I think you're supposed to go further than I went, so. Oh, shit. Okay. It's pretty tight back here. I think that's the problem. Okay. Okay, so putting the instrument cluster back in, it's pretty self-explanatory, but um, the great thing is there's no screws or anything like that. It's just kind of these rubber pieces, seems like in the back that's holding it together. Um, that's gonna be, you know, holding it tight in there. So you just push it, push it in. Um, this bottom piece came off. I just put it back together, this bottom piece right here. Um, it's held on by a couple clips down below, but other than that, um, I might be able to do it just one-handed, just push it on in. Pretty straightforward. Just push it in, keep pushing in. One side at a time, push it in. 
That's done. Um, I'm gonna do the steering wheel next. Um, the bolt is out. Um, I have it here. I was reading about this uh, putting some Loctite, but apparently you don't even need that. So although it's there from maybe uh, Mercedes or from the old last guy, just you apparently don't need it. Um, if you want to put a dab on it, you can, but apparently it's not required. So I'm gonna just leave it as is. Let me grab the steering wheel and I'll be right back. All right, now the steering wheel, just put it straight in. Try to put the marks back exactly where Jurgen had placed it. Just right about there, the black ones. So it looks pretty good, it looks pretty straight. And then now I'm gonna take my bolt, put my bolt in and I'm gonna tighten it up. And tightening it up, I found that somebody had posted that it needs to be 60 foot pounds of torque use my torque wrench for that but actually what it sounds like is just people just tightening it without um, really using a torque wrench just make it tight and snug and he said that's good enough because you're constantly pulling this thing on and off you're repairing the car and that doesn't really full-on matter um, just make it snug and make sure it's not gonna come off and the lock tie is kind of optional so I will go ahead and tie it down to 60 since I have a torque wrench might as well uh, just make sure it's safe and it's not going overboard. Um, do not use the wheel lock in order to uh, hold it. Make sure you hold it in place. Maybe you need a friend to help you out, um, but uh, you know, hold it in place and then use your torque wrench uh, to 60 foot pounds um, if you want to use a torque wrench. And that's the torque wrench, torque specs that I found online. So I hope that's reliable. I was able to put the bolt back in. I couldn't torque it to 60. I guess it's just really hard doing it alone. But even if you don't torque it to 60 and you just have it on snug, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Plus, if it does move a little bit, if it does back out, you're going to feel your steering wheel go up and down, right? You're going to feel it kind of shaking around. Then you realize that that thing needs to be, go, you need to go back and retie this thing. So I think for now, it, it's good. You're going to have a lot of play uh, before it completely falls off. So that's good. Okay, so now I'm just going to put this on. Um, it, the nice thing about this is that the car, when the car is off, you can't... Uh, activate the horn so that's cool um i'm gonna go ahead and put this cover back on it seems like this middle part goes in first see this little there's like a little ridge right here that goes right inside this first and then you push the outside part next and i'm gonna go ahead and do that now well we got everything back in here's the instrument cluster looking pretty good i got this rubber piece back installed so the trick is is you're going to do the circle part first you're going to do the circle part which is the rubber goes inside the metal trim inside uh, the steering wheel. And then once that's in, then you work out your way on the outside. So you push on the outside, the four corners to get those uh, blast rubbers back installed. But it's all done. Um, hope you're enjoying these videos. I enjoy making them. I hope you're enjoying watching them. Um, it seems like there's always something wrong with these 380 SLs. So I will continue to make videos along the way. And uh, thanks for commenting down below. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.